Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I thought I would show you how I started out my lace book. Um, I basically just took some cotton fabric and I used some fusible fleece on the back of it, and then I just sewed down some lace on top. And then I just put the pieces on top of each other and sewed a line down the middle and made this just easy, simple, cute little book. So I want to start by using some of the Sari Silk from Angel Dream Crafts to make the ties. And I decided to wrap it all the way around instead of just putting uh, two separate ties, one on each side, just to make it more sturdy and I didn't have to worry about it coming apart. And plus it's very pretty. You see how thick and bulky this little guy is? It's because I used the fusible fleece. <clears throat> but it's still really cute and it's soft and you could sew on it if you wanted to or stick stick pins in it. So I do like the fusible fleece for that. And now I have got just this pile of beautiful Angel Dream Craft lace that I am uh, choosing from to put on my uh, binding. And I am loving this lace with all of these scallops. I just think it's beautiful and so soft and romantic. And I thought it would look really good <coughs> on either side of the binding. And it does. It's very, very pretty. Adds just the right soft touch. And I am using hot glue um, instead of a wet glue because I don't like to wait for things to dry. I just want it to be dry <laughs> and hold so I can move on to the next thing. And um, hot glue works really well, well for this. But if you just put your glue on um, not thick, so a thin layer, it won't get too, too stiff because that is the downside about using hot glue. If you use too much, it just gets very stiff and you don't want a stiffness on your um, pretty lace book. You want it to be soft. At least I do. So I'm just adding this gorgeous lace to either side and I do love the way that looks. I'm so glad that I chose that. It's a beautiful lace. And uh, I'm going to be sad when I've used it all. <laughs> but of course, under the video, you can find a link to uh, Kim's Etsy store so that you can get some of this lace too, because it's just so pretty. So I love, actually love the way that looks. So now I'm trying to decide. I'm pretty sure one of these hearts is going to go on the front but it's going to have to go last. Um, so I'm just kind of trying it on for size. And I'm going to snippety snip up this beautiful little <laughs> uh, pink snippety lace from Angel Dream Crafts. But, you know, I really should have waited to put appliques on the front because I need to use, put on my border trims. And so I end up having to peel um, this up to put on my border trims. So just note, put your border trims on first and then add the snippety snip bits after. <laughs> but I was just so excited to get into this project. I haven't made a lace book in forever and I don't know why because I love them so. So I just was so enjoying putting this together but I didn't exactly remember the order of things. But it came back to me rather quickly. <laughs> And I decided to make a mini one because it's been so long since I made one. I didn't know um, how much, t if I had enough time on my hands to devote to a big one because they are a bit time consuming. So I went with the mini and I'm so glad I did. It came together rather quickly and it was so fun and it's so stinking cute. So now I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do about my edging trims. There's just so many choices. And I like to cover up all the raw edges. So I'm going to go ahead and make my pockets because I know what trim I want to use for my pockets. And I like to have a 
pocket on the inside cover and on the back inside cover. So this little mini lace book will have two pockets using this beautiful lace from Kim's shop. It's just perfect uh, for pretty pocket making. like an embroidered mesh it's very pretty I get this pocket down I uh, turn off the camera so I can figure out <laughs> what edging trims I want to use <laughs> it's so cute already all right I broke out the pleated tool trim it's so <laughs> One of my favorites. It gives such a beautiful, soft look to any project, and I'm going to use it <laughs> because it's the best. So I am adding it around um, the top, but I am going to trim it down because I don't like how long that is on my mini lace book. So as soon as I get all the top pages covered, I will go back and trim that down a little bit. Isn't it pretty? So I use the white and the blush pink uh, for the tops of my pages. Just adorable. And I like to pay special attention to the middle um, when I put a trim all the way across and I know it's going to have to, you know, close and fold and I am using hot glue that gets a little stiff so I just make sure that I get that lace down into that crease and that makes it much easier uh, to uh, close. That stiffness doesn't get in the way. Now you could trim um, the lace down individually, which would probably be a much neater <laughs> cut. I did not do that. I just closed the book and just trimmed off the tool, which made it very uneven. But you know, I kind of still like the way it looked, so I wasn't upset about it. But if you like things to be straighter, then you should probably trim each page separately. So here I go, this is where I'm just going to try to cut through all the layers with my not very sharp scissors. So it really was not a great idea from the start. So I'm kind of just trying to saw through there. It's ridiculous. And so it's not a straight cut. Everything is kind of crazy. So I mean, I still think it's cute. But if you mind that sort of thing, then definitely trim them individually. So now I'm doing the uh, side trim 
and uh, I did use the white tool trim but I, I trimmed it before I glued it down this time which is much nicer so there's where I had to pull up that applique because I put it down too soon and now I'm just gluing it down on top of that So I wanted to show you how I, I cut that individually because it just looks nicer. I have more control over how straight the line is going to be. So I am going to add the uh, tool trim to all of the side pages. Um, in the white and the pink. And then after I do that, it's time to add dangles to the bottom. So I am going to use one of my favorite, favorite dangle trims from Angel Dream Crafts. It's one of my favorite to make tassels with. I just absolutely love this dangle. And I am going to put it on either side of every page. So there's just going to be lots of fun little bits hanging down. But this again, I had to pull up the applique because <laughs> I put it down too soon. And I need still things to go under there. <laughs> it's funny, I keep gluing it down, but then I keep having to pull it up because I'm not ready. <laughs> Oh goodness. Isn't that a, the cutest little trim? And if you wanted to, you could add little um, embellishments to the dangles. But I think it's kind of pretty, so I'm going to probably not do that um, for this particular book. Now I'm just showing you the uh, base pages of this book. I will have other videos where I go into great detail um, on how I uh, decorate each page. So those will be coming up. I just wanted to kind of show you how I get started. So I kind of start by doing all the edging trims. I go ahead and make the pocket pages, which on this uh, on the pocket pages, I'm using this beautiful applique from Angel Dream Crafts that I cut in half. And so that's going to go um, on the front inside cover and the back inside cover. So I'm going to go ahead and get those done. I'm going to go ahead and put everything I want on the bottom. And then on the other videos, I will show you the individual pages that I do because I am using beautiful, absolutely beautiful digitals from Ula La Vintage Treasures on each page and more uh, beautiful goodies from Angel Dream Crafts. But I'd love to know what you think. So please leave me a comment and let me know what you think or if you have any questions. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to follow the link to Angel Dream Crafts uh, where you can get some of these beautiful goodies that I am using on my lace book. And you will also find a link to all the other designers on the team. They are amazing. If you haven't already subbed to them, please go check them out. They're absolutely amazing. So I decided I didn't have enough tool trim on this lace book. It's really a tool <laughs> book. So I'm using the beautiful double layered uh, polka dot trim from Kim's shop. And um, I'm putting that over the beautiful dangle. So in between, um, in between the tool, there will be dangles hanging down, and I just think it's so pretty. It really does look so nice, and I think I used the white and the pink, and I put that on backwards. <laughs> so I had to hurry up and rip it up and put it the right way. <laughs> oh, it happens though, doesn't it? The other uh, tool trim I'm using is is more of a uh, a pink 
um, a brighter pink than that blush pink tool trim but with the colors and the digital images I think it's gonna work out just fine so um, this is my base book I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me create it and I will be back soon with uh, decorating the individual pages I'll see you guys then bye everybody